Let's begin Monster Train. I'm gonna start a brand new run. I've played a few, as I mentioned, and I haven't gotten through all the way yet. I've gotten to, I think, like, probably this. Oh, geez. Hello. Probably like the second to last. Well, I, I won't spoil anything. We'll, we'll get to that when we get to that. So, here's our starting screen. You're gonna notice right away that the game draws a lot of inspiration from Slay the Spire, and, uh, you know, the Slay the Spire likes that have come since then. Uh, but that's fine. You know, it, it works. It's, it's very effective. But there's also plenty of unique uh, elements to it, and it's its own game in its own right in many different ways. But there are those similarities, to be sure. Uh, but in the beginning here, we're going to be choosing our primary and our allied clans. I'm probably going to just go with the Hellhorned and the uh, Awoken for this first one here. That seems like a good way to begin things. These are, the, these are the default two that you have when you uh, begin with. And you can do either one. You can either make this your primary and this your allied, or uh, vice versa. And I believe that just adjusts the available units that you have right away. Or it adjusts, well, it, it, first of all, it adjusts your champion, as you can clearly see. When we do this, it gives us this big new character at the front lines, and that's gonna be who we're uh, using every single run. But we'll just go ahead and go with him, and we'll see We'll see how we go. And adjust your starting cards as well, right? Yeah. Okay. Our final boss here is Seraph the Chaste. The end is near. This incarnation of Hell's greatest foe has the, has the power to cleanse all units of effects which don't benefit Seraph. Welcome to the this fight will require more than sheer strength. I haven't even really been paying attention to this yet, but it is interesting to note the fact that it tells you what sort of uh, boss fight you'll be dealing with at the end, and I suspect that we'll probably have to build specifically to deal with that. But I'm not quite to that level of proficiency, so I'm just going to worry about getting as far as I can up till now. So let's start. Thank you for all the support, everybody. I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you very much for the subscriptions and stuff. What can you do for me? How do we want to handle the Hornbreaker Prince this time? Do we want to make him just kind of an overall balanced dude, or we want to make it so that he's looking to get some killing blows? I kind of like that idea. And that's just a base plus 10. It's not like that decays after he gets that benefit. You can see there what slay means. It triggers after we deal a killing blow. I'm pretty sure I might want to go this route. What this will mean, though, is that the Hornbreaker Prince is going to be a glass cannon kind of character, so we're going to have to protect him with some other tankier things uh, if we do this. And then we'll see what artifact we start with this time. I like plus three magic power. That seems like it could benefit us quite a bit. Pyre gets plus 40 health is just, eh, you know, it's not that good, so let's go with that. Getting the wrong boss, boss ruined an OP, super OP run of mine. Oh, okay, well, better be aware of that then, I guess. You can see where the artifacts that go up on the top here. You can also see where your primary and ally clans are. Current ring, how far you've traveled through the rings of hell. And this is the final boss that we'll have to deal with. So there we go, there's our all, our all, all of our uh, relevant UI information at the moment, I believe. That, that also shows you... Uh, that shows you the amount of energy you have to play per turn. I think they call it energy. That shows you, I believe, the amount of dr cards you'll draw each turn and the capacity uh, you have on each floor to play units. Okay. I think Uncle Wayne's almost done. I think he's nearly caught up. Is that almost? Yeah, I think he's got it. Ember is what they call the mana here. Okay, cool. Got it. That energy. First battle. These disciples have been granted special power over the light of Seraph, making them harder to kill than other disciples. Your discipled foot soldier, an apprentice of light, nullifies a uh, single... Oh, wait, when you slay, you gain damage shield. Okay, so it doesn't start with that. And then the discipled inquisitor. Combat in this room Oh, that's right. That's our, uh, that's our end boss guy. Okay, so we have a trial that we can optionally choose to deal with every single... Uh, bout of combat here. And I'm going to go ahead and take this one. Non-boss enemy units get an additional four strength that'll allow us to get an additional unit draft reward at the end of combat here. That seems worth it to me. Alright. Really like the music in this game, by the way. Common theme in my channel, but you'll realize why. 
Okay. So as we mentioned, I want to put my Hornbreaker Prince ideally kind of behind just like a meat shield, and I suppose a train steward is going to have to be good enough for that right now. Luckily, it won't actually die right now, will it? Yeah, I guess not, so that's good. I could also just go ahead and do this and immediately kill this thing. That seems pretty worthwhile. And then, yeah, that looks good to me. I'm going to go ahead and give him one point of regen since I might as well use that card. Yeah, unit draft addition, or additional unit draft early on is pretty strong for sure. You want to make sure you're getting strong stuff early. Uh, here's a collector. Completely different from the Darkest Dungeon Collector. <laughs> this is this is a good guy. He helps. He shows up, and uh, if you're able to kill him before he flees from battle after one turn, then you get a little bit of money. <laughs> Peter back. Thanks for the 43 months, bud. Welcome on back in the pile. Appreciate it. Restore five health here. Does that get us back to surviving this? I think I probably have to do this first, don't I? Nah, the regen won't tick until after that's done. Oh, well. I should have played the... Oh, I'm going to change that game speed back to normal, by the way. Sorry, I don't want to ruin the first bits of combat animation for you guys here. All right, so as you can see, if we're not able to uh, kill the units by the time they... Uh, end combat here on the first floor, the enemy units will move up to the second floor. And if they don't have anything to fight on this floor, they'll just do nothing and then they'll move up to the third floor. But the idea is you don't want to allow them to get to the last shard of the pyre. As you can see, when enemy units reach the pyre room, they trade blows with your pyre until one side is defeated. Your pyre is immobile and immune to most spells and effects. So you want to make sure that they're not getting up there if you can avoid it. Uh, I'm kind of, you know, lacking for stuff generally right now since we're right at the beginning here, but I suppose that's a fairly good thing to do at the moment. And then he's going to be just about dead. Let me torture do him in. Oh, but now we got this guy to deal with already, and he's going to knock this dude out real fast. I can survive one hit, and then maybe I'd be able to restore... Well, he is relentless, isn't he? All right, so now that's not going to work out. Oh, I would be able to put a train steward in front of him. Hold on, that might do the job. Let's go like this. Yeah, there we go. That's the ticket. Get it? We're on a train. Ticket? Oh, I'm so hilarious. All right, very good. Very good. Victory. Let's collect the spoils of battle. Hmm. 2x damage to enemy units. Is that just all enemy units? That seems okay. Plus 3 damage, of course, because we have our uh, artifact. Hornbreak gets through armor and just deals 8 damage. That's not that good. I could take Vent. Enemy units implies to me that they are. Or that it's going to be all enemy units. Well, that seems pretty good. Oh, it says spell only affects one floor. I just read that at the very end there. Okay, never mind. But that's still decent. Sting's okay, but I have a card, or I can get a card that gives us three copies of this. I don't know, like getting one of them seems okay. I'll grab that. That's, that's not a bad idea. Ooh, an Awoken Hollow is pretty good. Steelworker's not bad either, actually. I ended, I ended up uh, taking a Steelworker in my last run and uh, giving him some considerable buffs, which you'll see how we do that in a little while. And he ended up being pretty strong. Awoken Hollow can be good as well. That Rejuvenate doesn't end up being all that impactful, unfortunately. I think I'd actually rather take the Steelworker in my experience. I think I'm gonna do that. All right. So we'll get an early opportunity here to do some forging on our units. I think I'll go ahead and get a new unit as well. Yeah, that seems like the way to go. I'm kind of blazing through this stuff, but I think you guys are, you know, you're, you're competent enough in these sorts of games to be able to figure out the majority of what's going on just based on what you see on screen. But I'll explain whatever is unclear if you need me to. So we can't play the Demon Fiend right now, but of course that looks like a, a very strong creature uh, if we're able to play it at some point. And we'll be able to do that... Uh, if we get the upgrade at the end of this uh, ring, or I suppose at the end of this section, I don't know what you would call it, that enables us to have four ember instead of three per turn. 
So that's not a bad idea if we want to try to go that route with things. I haven't ever, I haven't ever had a deranged brute, and I think that purple orb in the center. I assume that means that it's epic quality. Range, rage on friendly units adds an additional two damage per stack. It's not bad. That's a valid point as well, Satan's Room. Yeah, you could also uh, modify the Demon Fiend to reduce its cost. And that might even be something I'm able to do right now. Let's go see if that's an option. Oh, I should have actually looked to see if that was an option first before I bought it. But I still might get it. Uh, the, uh, the other part of this is, uh, so we get this little marketplace. I love this guy, by the way. Hold on. I'm going to let you hear that sound again. He's, he's a very appealing creature, isn't he? So, these shops show up. This is a uh, unit-specific one. And these give you the ability to upgrade the uh, monsters that you've acquired. Multi-strike is quite good, as you would assume. <laughs> and multi-strike on a demon fiend is fucking ridiculous. I don't know. I don't know if we necessarily want to use one of our two allotted upgrade slots to give the demon fiend multi-strike, but... I don't know, man. It doesn't seem bad either. But the other part of this is one, uh, or is like more or less something that I could do that would be copying what I did last time, which is uh, boosting the strength of the Steelworker a little bit and then giving him multi-strike as well. But everybody in chat wants me to give it to the Demon Fiend, so I'm just going to do that. Because <laughs> I aim to please. And let's... Well, re-rolling, unfortunately, here doesn't really even give us an opportunity to get the cost reduction. So I think I'm just going to have to invest in the possibility of playing him a little bit later. For now, I've got a decent... Uh, I've got a decent card in the form of the... Where's the deck? There it is. I've got a decent card in the form of the Steelworker. So it's not like I'm still rocking basic gear. But unfortunately, we're not going to be able to take, to take advantage of our full potential at the moment. Uh, no, not really, actual Alex. I appreciate you asking, though, but yeah, no, you just go ahead and get it yourself. You can follow the link. That helps me out. If you get it through the link, in fact, that might even be better for me, so... Yeah, you know what? I changed my answer. You can get it through the link right there. That's the way you can do, do it to support the stream. Uh, I think I'm done here. Yeah, we don't have a ton of gold right now, so I suppose I'm just gonna go ahead and have to do that. Trog Archer! Thanks for the 16 months on the pile, buddy. Welcome on back in. The Reconcilers have arrived in great force to make sure that you repent for the sins that hell has brought upon the world. Big boss, High Priest to the Light. Attacks all enemy units. That's a little intimidating. Forge Disciple and a Reconciler. All right. Non-boss enemy units enter with Spikes 3. We could probably deal with that. That's an additional 75 coins I can absolutely utilize. I try to take the trials as often as possible, obviously. I mean, whenever you get a benefit like that just staring you in the face, it's pretty hard to say no to it. All right. Oh, that looks like a really strong start right away. Let's just go ahead and drop the Hornbreaker Prince and the Steelworker on the bottom floor. Torch this Mamma Jamma, and then you are dead. You are donezo, and then we might as well just go ahead and give you a regen since you get hit by something here anyway. Gotta be careful about the spikes now with the with our champion, I just remembered. Since uh three damage a pop from him or for him is gonna be kinda tough to deal with. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and get that extra money too. You know, I can just vent here. Let's do that. I'm going to play two train stewards, and then I'm going to vent. Yep, that works for me. Let's do it. Yeah. Good enough. Ow. Zeus Juice! Love the name. Thank you very much. Welcome on back into the pile. Full year. Appreciate you, buddy. Sinner's Burden. More like Sinner's Burden. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I should heal him. And him, actually. Shoot, I should probably heal him more. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Boom. And uh, I'll just get rid of that. And since I don't want you damaging me, I'll just go ahead and kill you. All right, great. Thanks. 
The graphics and names for the cards the enemies force on you are so good. I agree. I love that flavor. It's really satisfying. A quick sting, no problem. Uh, I guess we'll restore. He's gonna die anyway. This is our relentless boy, but he's almost dead after that, so that's what that's gonna do it, I guess. Let's go ahead and pop the train stewards in here, call it good. It doesn't matter if you lose the units through combat, by the way. It's not like uh it's not like nowhere profit. I don't know if y'all remember us playing that one for a little while on stream. But uh that was a game where you would play units, uh it was like a deck building unit upgrade sort of thing like this, but uh you would play the units. And uh, if you lost the units through combat, it actually had, like, effects that would carry over uh, beyond that. This game's not like that. Uh, well, you're dead, so bye. We did it! Cool. I like Nowhere Profit, by the way. That was a good game. Might go back to that. I heard they made some good changes to it since I last played. Nekokone Kosan. 23 months, nearly two years on the pile. Welcome back, buddy. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't really love any of these either, man. I'm not getting great cards so far. I guess I could take an imp and try to build an imp deck of some sort. That's not really what we're going for, though. Well, actually, it could kind of work, because we got a demon fiend that's going to take up three spaces. Maybe we want to put, like, a couple of imps behind him or something, but probably not. I don't know. I'm just going to skip this, I think. Another Sting. Are we building a Sting deck? They're free, and they add draw to the next turn. It's kind of hard to pass up, actually. It's pretty good. Especially with the uh, extra damage. Hmm. I'm going to do it. Screw it. Let's try it out. See how that goes. All right. More forge opportunities. That's good. Don't need to restore pyre health, though, so that that path is less desirable. Duplicating a card is usually good, especially if we happen to get a good unit from that. What would I duplicate if I were to do that right now? Probably the Demon Fiend. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, it's just all Demon Fiend, isn't it? It's all Demon Fiend all day today. I just realized we could do this. I did not know you'd be able to see what was coming up after that. Holy cow. I thought I was going. I thought I had gone pretty far. Turns out I have not got that far at all. My goodness. All right, let's go this way and see what we can get. Ooh, I like this one. You can make this one real good. Obviously, something that starts with multi strike too. It's it's not that good out of the gate, but you've seen the sorts of upgrades we can give things. This this could end up being a monstrosity. So I think I might want to grab him. Slash her, slash it. It's a good... There's a good chance I'll get back to Iridus, Lord of the Dead. Robin Abra. We played that for a little bit, but... Uh, I wasn't in love with the state of things. Oh my god, dude. We're totally copying the Demon Fiend five times. <laughs> so bad right now, but I really hope that at some point it becomes really good. Oh, this is stupid. <laughs> it's a bit much. You know, it's... It could be six, though. Six curses in the deck. It could be seven. It could be seven of them. I really wish that had been, like, five copies of a reduced-cost Demon Fiend instead of a multi-strike Demon Fiend. That would probably be better. Uh, let's see. I guess we should probably duplicate the Animus. I kind of want to duplicate the Steelworker right now, actually. That's probably better. And, I mean, neither one is really all that great. Sure. Whatever. Good enough. Yeah, no, this, this isn't going to work. We can't even play these things, so this, this we got some dead draws. I'll probably die in the first boss. But it was fun. It was funny. All right, so here's the first boss. It's Daedalus. I love this song, by the way. It's so good. I'm going to pump it. Daedalus drops mines. 
At the end of this mine's turn, if you haven't destroyed it, it's going to despawn and deal 10 damage to the front enemy unit. The thing about that, though, is if you don't have a unit in there, it doesn't deal shit. So don't have to worry about it. We got these boys down here we have to deal with, and we got Daedalus himself, who's got 250 HP we'll have to deal with at some point. But for now, let's go ahead and drop our Hornbreaker Prince. Train Steward and the Animus will just go right there? No, we'll put that right there. That works. Done deal. This is a good chance this will become a thing I play well after the sponsorship ends, Dark Anarchist. Yeah, this game is that good. I, I am really enjoying it. I think it's something that I'm going to have to work to get better at, actually, because I'm not that good at it right now. I, I need a lot of improvement. I don't know if this is any indication of that, but I feel like I could I could stand to use some practice here. That's good to hear, Robin. Yeah, thank you. No, I I know it's uh, it's out of early access now, so that's good. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a steward in front of you so you don't just die right away. It seems like a good idea. Yeah, you were gonna die. Boy, this is... This is a struggle here already. God, this sucks. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Alright, yeah, there's a damage shield. Yeah, you're gonna die anyway. I can't play shit. Rip to me. So no! Maintaining your tier 3 subscription as well. Thank you so much. Welcome on back into the pile. Thank you for the bear hugs as always. Your train stops here. I think I'll go ahead and play the fodder down here. Steelworker can actually do some good damage like this, and then I suppose I should probably try to get this thing killed. That's probably wise. All right, great. That'll do. Good enough. I don't think this is fine. I think this is a problem. We'll probably lose. But if we win, maybe we'll be able to do something with it. Who knows? I'll just play like six demon fiends per, per uh, combat. And we'll just get carried by that. Alright, let's see. I think I might do a torch vent combo here. That might work out okay. Hmm. Just to get rid of the bomb. But I should play a steward too. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, good enough. It's fine as long as you live, I guess. Kill the tank. All right. Oh boy, oh boy, here he goes. There's all our demon fiends. Well, two of them. He's dealing 30. You're gonna die. I think I better just heal you. And then, oh yeah, we're screwed. Oh, I don't wanna give him power though. Yeah, I think we'll just let the pyre deal with these things. I'm just gonna have to go like this. I'm so dead regardless, by the way, because there's very little chance we're gonna be able to get through this if I haven't really even upgraded myself in the beginning state. And that's where we're at right now. We'll see, though. Maybe by some miracle, we get out of this alive. I'm pulling for us. 
Oh boy, yeah, it's not looking good. One fifty-six. There's no units to play. Oh god damn it. Thanks, Demon Fiends. You did this, chat! You did this to us! Oh, but wait. Oh, we're gonna die, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Oh my- Whoa! Wow! By the skin of our teeth! 78 damage taken! Holy shit. Yeah! I can't believe we're still in this. That's ridiculous. All right. None of these are good either. Oh my god. This is this is not going great. This card selection has been doo doo. I guess cycle of life. That's the best option we got. Wildwood is amazing. Explain to me. Oh, for demon feeds. Oh, duh. Yeah, that, dude. Okay, those have been. I haven't even considered these as actual valuable things up until this very point. So, yeah, no, that makes sense now. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> Fuck. Um. Another animus. I don't think I need that. Let's just skip this one. All right, here we go. Gotta take the ember. All right. Is there an upgrade station? There is for magic. I don't really need these coins. I need some health, actually. I might want to go for this. I need to heal my pyre up a little bit. I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Hmm. I don't really have anything I need to worry about like that, right? Well, actually, what I could do is uh, I could power stone one of the torches or the vent. Oh no, that's not very good. Man. Hold over when played. This card is placed on top of your draw pile next turn. It's pretty good. You want to go with vent? I wish it. I wish it actually affected the X damage, but I suppose that's something different. I think that's a different modifier. That's true. Yeah, it makes it a zero cost thirteen damage. That's a pretty fair argument for this. It's only twenty gold. We might even get another offering of that. And then I, I, it's, it's kind of hard to argue against making one of these free, but they're not really that good either. But let's just do it, I guess. Well, let's make a, let's make a heal free. I prefer that. And I kind of want to re-roll it. I don't have any consume, do I? No. Another plus 10 magic power. I can turn that to 23. Oh, shit. Basically, just got the same thing again here. Hmm. Zero cost 23 damage. I mean, it's the same argument, right? We just kind of, we're kind of holding out hope that maybe we'd find a better upgrade for it, but it's not really necessary to look at it that way. Yeah, fuck it. Okay. And then let's just go ahead and make a torch free, and then that way nobody can say I made a mistake, because I did I did one of each one. Who am I kidding? Everybody's going to find a way to make, or say I made a mistake. You a multi-strike Hornbreaker Prince. I like that idea. That's pretty good. Let's do that. You may be able to uh, clear out multiple mobs per turn this way. All right, let's do it. We can actually play the Demon Fiends. 
It's a whole new friggin' ball game for us. They might be low-level recruits of the Clift, but they'll overload you with pennants if you don't take them out quickly. At the start of each battle, enemy units appear on each floor. Or at the start of battle, enemy units appear on each floor. I could probably deal with that. That's an additional 150 coins. That's a lot of money. It'll be tough. We've already taken some pyre damage. This will probably kill me, but fuck it. Demon Fiend, baby! All in on the Demon Fiend. There's one. Uh, let's see. You go there. And you go there. Great. That, that'll, that'll work, right? Yeah. Bye. <laughs> oh, man. He's so big. He's such a big boy. Oh, we need some AoE, dude. We need to play the Weight of Contrition if I can. Play a Demon Fiend on floor two. I'm gonna probably kill him. I'll leave. Yeah, this dude's gonna survive. There's nothing I can do about that. I'm not gonna be able to play this if I play a Fiend. I guess that's not a big deal. It's only three damage. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just do it. And then we'll play a Sting on you. Is that okay? Yeah, that works. Okay. Like I could have done anything anyway, I guess. And we lose the money. Oh, never mind. Yeah, right. No, I, I knew that was going to happen. I'm really smart. Dude, I'm already loving Demon Fiend meta. This is working. We get our free vent. Hmm. Yeah, that champion's pretty strong, too, man. No kidding. That Slay buff? Oh my god, I didn't even consider it. Yeah, the multi-strike is gonna make him nutty. Ooh, shit. Alright, let's see. No Demon Fiend this time, so I'll probably just go ahead and pop this to get that problem addressed. Um, I don't mind the idea of venting these guys. We'll do that after the fact. Usually wanna, yeah, almost always wanna play vent last, actually, given the way that we've just buffed that. I'm gonna heal this boy. He's definitely dead. Uh, I'm just kind of debating if I want to play the Steelworker on the bottom floor now. Oh, I know all about that beta, yeah. I've, I've been around the block a couple times here. Let's do this, I think, because they're only gonna deal six. I'm gonna kill them any. Well, I'm gonna kill him anyway. Gonna be healable. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. And then might as well do that. Prevent him from taking more damage. We play both heals on you. And the vent. Great. Good stuff. Yo, I'm into this. I think this is gonna work. It took a little bit of investment, but I think we've I think we're on to something here. Pop an animus behind the demon team. We need to buff this thing, by the way. That's gonna be a, a big new objective for us. I think I'll go ahead and heal you, get rid of this one. Might as well pop a steward behind him. Good enough. Actually, I don't think I wanted to do that. I just wanted to leave more room for a demon fiend, but maybe one of them will die. In fact, more than likely one of them will die. Yeah, I definitely wanted to leave room for a fiend. That was a, that was a misplay. Okay, lesson learned. That would have been a much better thing to have right there right now. All right, well, let's heal you back up. Call it good. We should be fine. We're just gonna lose our first floor. 
That's unfortunate to get right now. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of these potential for future contritions. Oh, I guess that's true. I could have torched my own steward, huh? I didn't even think about that. That unfortunately would have reduced my uh, em ember for the turn below what I needed for the Demon Fiend. I might as well play this, I guess. It's not like it consumes the spell. Yeah, we got this one easy. Second floor Demon Fiend might be enough. Let's get rid of those. Look at that, yeah, he's gonna do it by himself. That is nutty. You do, do 100 damage per turn after all, that's pretty goddamn good. Imagine having two demon fiends on a floor, oh god. I mean, we, we have the potential. Let's see. Uh, battering ram we can't really use. Move a unit to the front and apply armor 10. Rage serum, I guess, is okay. Not really using rage right now. I'm kind of tempted to skip this. Don't want to add more girth to an already pretty meaty deck that I'm kind of trying to thin out right now, actually. So I'm going to skip that one. Starfisher! 76 months on the pile. Thank you very much, my friend. Welcome on back in. Oh, we love this card. We, 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 we pog the fuck out of our minds over this card. Holy shit. That is so good right now. All right. Ooh, this is kind of an important choice here. Do I go for the Pyre Restoration? Or do I get super greedy and use the 550 gold we've got to forge our units and also remove some cards? I'm pretty damn certain I'm going this way, actually. Yeah, we're, we're going greed for sure. Another multi-strike. <laughs> Hold on a fucking second. Oh my god. Oh, if only we had gotten that before we duplicated it. That'd be nuts. <laughs> 150 damage demon fiend, dude. That is ridiculous. I I gotta do it. That's that is that is mind blowing. What about the thorn stone? What do we want for this? I'm pretty sure I'm just looking for. Uh, attack damage <laughs> upgrades at the moment. There's not a lot else that's really going to be tempting for me. Like, a Hearthstone's really, yeah, this is meh. Like, who cares about that? I guess I could give that to the Animus. It might... Eh, no, I, I don't really want to do that. I don't want to waste an upgrade slot on that, so let's just reroll them. That's good. Oh, quick is wonderful. <laughs> hmm. Let's, let's do this first. Because we definitely want to do that. <laughs> like quick Demon Fiend, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> quick multi-strike Demon Fiend is just not even fair. <laughs> not even fair. Oh my god. And let's, uh... I might even do this. I'm tempted, but I don't think it's necessary. I think we just play that as a backline last cannon, mostly. And let's see if I'll probably just remove a train steward here. We'll be able to re remove two more train stewards, actually. Goodbye. No more space for you on the train, unfortunately. We've got demon fiends to dole out. Oh, here we go. We got our first interaction with the frozen shard. Two ornate chests have emerged from the thawing ice. Both chests have a strange lock mechanism that looks like they could be picked with shards from the pyre. The more decorated chest might take a few more tries, though. Do you break off some of your pyre to get what's inside? Oh, yikes, no. Uh-uh. Nope. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. 
I know, Panzer. I don't want to spend that much money on it, though. I'm okay with having one more. Let's do it. Demon feed! Sneaky clip. have infiltrated your train. Use spells and higher floors to take them out. Non-boss enemy units get an additional six damage. We can take that. Demon fiend don't give a fuck. Alright, that's just a basic bitch, Demon Fiend, unfortunately. All, all he's got is multi-strike. <laughs> Garbage. Shitty ass Demon Fiend. Whatever. Alright, let's do this. Do that. We might as well play the stings. I mean, there's no point in not doing it. There we go. Oh my god, dude. Please give me another one. Please. Just just do it. But make, let me make sure I'm doing all the right shit first. Actually, no, I can't play that if I want to play one of the ones that I've got. And this is my double multi-strike demon feed. Oh my god. Oh my god. I gotta do it. I gotta play him. I gotta play beefy boy. And, uh, well, again, there's no point in doing it. There's no point in not doing it either, right? Oh, no, 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 no. We don't want to do that. Oh, never mind. That doesn't matter. Yeah, eh, fuck it. No point. No point. He's going to deal 150 goddamn damage, man. Oh, that is nuts. All right. So these guys have stealth, so they're not going to be a target in combat for the next turn, which means that he's going to... Well, he was going to die regardless if that was the... Uh, regardless of whether or not that was the case. But... Uh, unfortunately, we, we can't really do anything about that. They're just going to move up anyway. We might just have to replace that demon fiend, which we can't do now. Oh, yeah, and here's the other one. Here's the quick one, too. <laughs> Shit! I am so excited for the potential of double demon fiend floors, man. That's going to be something else. But right now, we just got to put that boy down right up there. And I guess that's going to do it. Yeah. And this one's going to die. But thankfully, the champion's not going to die. Nothing you can do about that. Another stealth boy, but I'll be able to attack next turn. But unfortunately, not enough to kill. I'm just going to play, place that demon fiend down. Probably call it good. Uh, I can heal a little bit. Enough to keep him alive, thankfully. Actually, yeah, that was really convenient. Okay, cool. Good. Bye. Goodbye. Oh, shit. Please give me my heal card. No? All right, well, I can just torch this boy anyway. Uh, yeah, we'll just do that. Um, I can play the steel worker. Let's do the steel worker up here. Restore health. Yeah, we're good. Here we go. Ooh, I got the channel song. Wait a minute. How, what do I have left to get? I think it might only be demon feeds. Oh, there's one fucking train steward, of course. That's what I get for not spending the extra gold to remove the last train steward. Is an absolute guarantee that when I play this channel song, it won't give me one of the two available demon fiends. No. No, 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 no. Of course, the result of that is going to be the goddamn train steward. Duh. All right. Well, thank goodness I got that. <laughs> Fuck, dude. This is ridiculous. All right. Heal it up. All good. Oh, that's true. I, c I couldn't play the Fiend anyway, right? Because I didn't have space. All right, well, it was worth it for that moment anyway. <laughs> Hey ah, hey ah. Uh oh shit, are we gonna die? He's, gonna, he's not even gonna be able to hit him one time. Oh, that's unfortunate. Shit. Man, if he doesn't survive the first blow. 
Oh no, we do that though, and then, yeah, no, he's still gone. No, he's not. Oh no, he's gonna be able to hit him once though. Okay, so he's doing some good damage. That'll help. Damn life steal on this guy. Thank you, train steward. Turns out you were kind of helpful after all. All right, how are we looking? Oh, we got him. Cool. We did it. Good job, everybody. You can't play these on the pyre, right? Oh, my God. If, if, if I realized that just now, I would be flabbergasted, but no, that's that's not the case. Okay. Baboom! Yeah! There we go. Extra money. Hmm. The rage serum shows up. Branding right. Ooh. Huh. That's interesting. I don't think I'm gonna take it. That's inter that's an interesting card. It'd be interesting to play on a car on a on a monster that has like a revenge reaction. I'm gonna skip that for now, though. Descend a unit and restore 13 health. That actually could help out. I don't think I want a Wildwood Custodian. That's that's an interesting one, but I don't think I need it. This this could be good. I think I'm gonna grab that. I might need that. Well, thank you, Alex. Appreciate that. Thanks for following the link as well. Thank you all for watching. Hope you're having a good time. This is a great game. I mean, I'm, I'm having an easy time making this one look good. It does it all on its own. I do just want to remind you, though, this is indeed a sponsored stream. Check out the link using the exclamation point monster command in chat if you want to find out more about the game for yourself. Yo, we could probably afford an artifact or two. The Merchant of Trinkets is often one that I kind of just pass up on because I don't have enough gold, but we're, we're looking pretty good. Not to mention another unstable vortex, remove that last train steward, focus our demon fiends. We also have Merchant of Steel again. With a little bit of extra money. I kind of want to do this though. Friendly units enter with armor 5, or cards with consume- Ooh, yeah, let's do that. Go ahead and remove our steward. Get rid of this torch as well, one of them. Oh, this is much better, man. A 25 card deck that we're pretty well focused with. Hmm. Never, when you summon the second unit during a turn, gain three ember. Hold on a second. Oh my god, this could be really good. Hmm. Yeah, summon a one cost and then a demon fiend. No, 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 no. What you'd have to do, you'd have to summon three total in the turn, right? Because it says when you summon the second unit. So I would have to play two one-cost units. That would immediately replenish me to four, and at that point I could play a Demon Fiend. That's why I'm thinking it's good. Which we can do that. We can make that work. I might struggle early, but if I add more one-cost units to the deck, it could, it could benefit me. But that now that the more I think about it, that might be ben that might be benefiting me more with a deck that I need to work on building rather than a deck that I have now. Friendly units gain two damage on kill is pretty pretty good as well. Actually, yeah, the consume crown. I wasn't even really looking at that actually. Yeah, that's really good, especially with our champion, of course. He's gonna love that too. Sure. It's every unit, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course I'm going to get that. Uh, and then one reroll might be worth looking at. Because I don't actually think I'm going to get this after thinking about it a little more. Like, I think this could work if I had more one-cost units, but 
How many do I have? I've got one, two, three. And that's, you know, meh. I've got the channel song to hopefully reduce cost too, so I think I've got a different way of working on that stuff. <laughs> when you play your third card of the turn, draw two. Your pyre gets 15 attack, or units gain an extra upgrade slot. Oh, shit! Yeah! <laughs> give me that! And then give me more money. Give me a lot more money, please. Okay. Fell the wings of light. This clipped warrior has become winged once more, creating statues in her former image to block your assault. More multi-strike, yep. Yeah. Alabaster guardians have multi-strike. Fell empowers units with rage. You'll see what's going on with that. It's fantastic, Nihilist, and they, they are probably bombarding you with the uh, sponsored streams today. That's a good targeted advertisement. Oh, hold on a second. I was just thinking to myself, this would be one instance wherein I would have actually benefited from getting that artifact. But no, that's not the case because the Hornbreaker Prince is a zero cost. All right, so this is just a normal Demon Fiend. By normal, we mean it's a... Oh, no, 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 this is the Triple Strike. This is the Triple Strike Demon Fiend. So where do I want you? I think I want to do the same setup we had last time. I'm going to put these two on the bottom. And then those things are all going to get fucking obliterated. get the gold. The gold is on the other side, isn't it? Oh boy, my champion's gonna be buffed up. And yeah, of course, the demon fiends are gonna be benefiting from that too, and they have multi-strike. This is so good! Oh my god, it's so good. Yumo! Thank you very much for your 16 months on the pile. Welcome on back, buddy. Appreciate your support. Uh... I'll play my quick Demon Fiend. Thank you very much. I hope you don't mind. Oh, baby. This is pretty dope. This is pretty friggin' dope. Goodbye. I'm so glad I got that healing card, too. That's going to be monumentally good. Given we draw it in the right circumstances. All right, we get a channel song here. What do we have available to get from that? One demon fiend, one steel worker. So it's a two out of three again. But I could definitely play the demon fiend up here, and then the steel worker behind that, which I couldn't do if I did, if I tried to just play the demon fiend from hand. So let's go for it. Cool. And that's a hell of a demon fiend. Alright, very good. And let's go ahead and get a heal out on you. Um, I think I'm just going to kill you. Which one would be better? I think I might actually kill you instead. Nah, I'm gonna kill you. Alright, there we go. That's what we're going for, Messignosis. That's definitely gonna be the upgrade I take next, is the ability to add capacity to each floor and have two demon fiends per floor. Oh my god, look at the damage we're dealing to the boss already! This is nuts! This pace is insane! I think I'm just gonna heal, man. Just heal up. We're really dealing 158 damage on this turn. Madness. I'm gonna hit the boss with these, dude. Fuck it. Goodbye. Doom, doom, doom. 180 damage. Unreal, and we get the heal. Holy shit! 
Hmm. I don't need to descend a unit. We're good. I'm just going to play that. Actually, no, I'm better off playing the vent. That's not bad at all. I didn't realize he was going to die. Was that a... What's going on? Did one of those attack every unit? Huh. Oh well. Do, 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 do. We nearly killed the boss before the boss round. I think we're going to. That's going to be like a, a new level of success for me, for sure. I, I have not even gotten close to that level of strength in a build. Uh, I feel pretty good about that and that. that is a, that's a damn fine setup, actually. We don't have our champion out, but it's maybe not even going to matter. We are just really strong right now. Goodbye. Ba-boom! No matter what floor the boss goes on, they're doomed. They're completely doomed. We have so much damage everywhere. This is nuts. Goodbye. Holy shit, I can't believe it. Wow. Life fell less. What's that? Defeat fell before her combat phase. Hell yeah. I mean, fell yeah. Let's go. Another Unleash the Wildwood and another channel song. Oh, shit. I'm kind of leaning towards second Wildwood. But the channel songs are really, really good. The only reason I'm not immediately picking channel song is because it's ended up being that most of the time we have a channel song and a demon fiend in hand. We have to make the decision, and it's not always the best. But thinking about it in the long term, it's probably going to be more than worth it. And we don't need a second Wildwood. Yeah, we're not really having a problem with health. Let's do this. All right, now we got to do the Lay of Sarah for sure. We got to we gotta add the capacity so we can live the double Demon Fiend dream. So fucking good. Oh, my God. Okay. There's some money. Another Hell Vent. I don't think I really need that. I think we're probably going to go to the right. But this isn't all that tempting either, actually. I might want the money more. So I can get some unit upgrades later on, I assume, which I'm hopefully... Oh, there we go. Yeah, if we go Merchant of Steel after this. And then there's a Merchant of Trinkets there, too. So I think I should probably go for some cash. Could be something pretty good in the Concealed Caverns. But I think I'd rather get the gold. And do we want to duplicate a channel song? I could also duplicate the Wildwood, and then I could get the best of both worlds. Duplicate more Demon Fiends. I could duplicate my quick Demon Fiend. That'd be nuts. This is actually might do that. I actually might do that. How many do we, we have six? Six is the is the most that we'll have on the, on the train at any point. Hmm. If you duplicate, then descend. You could realistically make all your fiend, fiends live on a single level. Hold on a second. What does descend do? Move down a floor and then to the back of that floor. This capa I assumed capacity was taken into account here, but can you move a, f a unit onto a floor that's at maximum capacity and have it stay there? You can overload with this? What? What the fuck? What 
We should duplicate that. That's insane. Oh my god. Let's just grab that real quick, first of all. Hmm. There's an absolute cap? Okay, so it's not like completely broken. That makes sense. But still, wow. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's not necessary because we, we just uh, increased our own capacity. Maybe we don't have to necessarily abuse that. My gut says to do this, so I'm going to go with that. Because that just seems pretty good, too. Let's get a champion upgrade. Multi-strike, too. It's very friggin' good, man. It's very good. You could get so strong. I, I think I want to take that. Let's go. All right. Wings acquainted with the power of death. They consume the souls of their victims to heal and grow stronger. When attacking, excess damage is applied to the subsequent enemy unit. Restores five health after dealing the killing blow. 400 coin reward. If we allow enemies to enter with spikes, five. I think I can... Well, actually, that's pretty bad. That'll probably kill my champion, but... Demon fiends don't give a fuck, so... Let's do it. That's a lot of money, yeah. That's that's kind of what I'm looking at. My prince is just gonna die though, so I don't know if I even want to play him. Ooh, we got a quick one. That's dope. Hmm, he's gonna die. Deal 100 damage here. Oh boy. Yikes. Yeah, those spikes are no joke, huh? Holy shit, that sucks. Kill two of them. That's our quick demon fiend dead, though. Jeez, dude. I think this is gonna be what what does me in immediately. Wow, this is this is a big, big spike. Get it? Big spike in difficulty. Hardy, har, har, har. Double channel song. That's gonna be all that saves the day. Let's do it. There we go. A fine start. Double demon fiend, baby. Yes, sir. Okay. That'll work. That'll get us going. That'll get us going. Okay, then. Thank you very much. We'll just pop that down right there, if you don't mind. And, uh, we'll go like that. And I guess I'm good. Hey, you know what? I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Turns out Channel Song was the right go. Oh, please give me my heal after this. That would be miraculous. And I'm kind of wishing I duplicated the heal a little bit, actually. For this fight in particular. Oh, please, please, please give me the heal. I need it. It gave me the heal! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, you do that. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna get these guys to die as well. Thanks to the torch. So, goodbye. Wait, hold on. Oh, no, I can kill you. There we go. And yeah, we got it, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's only on one floor. I did. I never even realized that. I always thought it was the. I always thought it was every unit. I always thought it was every unit. All right, that's an important lesson to learn. It's still good, but. Now I know that. 
Haven't seen a single thing that hits every floor. That would be pretty damn powerful if that were a thing that happened, to be fair. I think I'm just going to go all in on the heels on the big boy. The big front line man is doing work for me. So let's do it. Hit him with a torch in the back line. Man. Oh, that torch was wasted. I don't know why I did that. Oops. Oopsie. There's our descend. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, we can do it. I can move, so I'll sacrifice this one, I guess. Wait, which one's quick? Neither of them are quick. Hmm. What's the best play here? Because the enemy's going to attack first. Oh, if I descend him, he'll live. Oh, yeah, definitely do that. Okay. Dude, that's so fucking nuts. Holy shit. Holy shit. Our bottom row is ridiculous right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, the spikes. But that's okay. I can get a new one up there. There's the enemy. Well, the boss, I mean. Wow. He hurts a lot, apparently. I'm just going to let that guy get killed by the pyre. This is eight damage to the pyre. That's fine. So, torching this boy seems like a good idea. That way, hopefully, we don't just all die. We all, well, oh, we're going to deal a lot more damage that way, though. Okay, so that's good. Thank goodness we got that torch, actually. That was really helpful. Look how much damage that adds just by adding that five health. I think we can kill him by he healing him one more time. Yep, he's dead. See you, dude. Yeah, thankfully, he doesn't have spikes. That'd be pretty difficult to deal with. His screams are terrifying, man. Oh, God! <laughs> Ooh. That's kind of neat. These are all imps. Well, this one's an imp. These are imp spells. Uh, oh, fuck, dude. That's really good. That's really good. I should play that. Claire, how's it going? Yeah, 400 gold bonus for that one was nice. And another restoring retreat. Ooh, baby. It's actually working. I can't believe it. Let's go for the upgrades, dude. Let's go for the upgrades. Get a little bit more pyre health, too. That seems good. I have 900 gold. Large stone! Because <laughs> they weren't big enough already. But hold on. Oh my god, if we did that to this thing. That'd be pretty goddamn good. That's that's nice. That's very tempting. I know it adds to the capacity, I understand. I under I understand that. Uh it's gonna it's gonna be worth it in my mind. There we go. Now, I don't think I want either of those. Do I want to add 25 health to anything? No, not at all. Reroll. Quick again. Oh, Jesus, dude. I forgot I have a third upgrade slot on everything now. I should have gotten the other ones. That's right, yeah, because we only have the one reroll per thing. 
Quick plus three multi-strike, dude. Jesus. Jesus Christ. He does 150 damage before anything happens. Wow. Wow. Okay, so that's going to deal quite a bit of damage, too. <laughs> Holy fuck. This is insane. Wow. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this one, dude. Fuck it. Might as well. Might as well make things better. We need more! <laughs> I still have cash for the trinket shop. At the start of battle, summon four random units from your deck on the- Are you kidding me? <laughs> yes, please. When a friendly unit is healed, deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to the amount healed. Quite good. 50% uh, chance to remove all buff effects on an enemy unit when it enters your train. That seems pretty good. The cloak is good too, man. These are both good. And I can get both. Fuck it. Let's get both. Yay. All right. We're out of here. Just, no more thinking. Just go. <laughs> the end is near. This incarnation of Hell's greatest foe has the power to cleanse all units of effects which don't benefit Seraph. This fight will require more than sheer strength. Remove half of any buff and debuff effect stacks. Let's do it, man. <laughs> oh my fucking god! What? No! <laughs> GG, dude, this is nuts. This is nuts! How the fuck are you gonna deal with that? I know there can be- that's not even as strong as it can be! Honestly, that was a little weak compared to what it can be. Oh my god. I'm dealing 260 damage on the first turn. Channel song. Oh, holy fucking shit. No, this, this is gonna work, isn't it? Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> it's, this is not fair. This isn't supposed to happen. There are rules for this. There's a trade-off in capacity, right? There's not, this isn't supposed to be allowed. What on earth? I don't even, I'm not even gonna play anything, fuck it. Why bother? It did it for me. There are no rules in hell. <laughs> I'm literally, I'm not gonna play cards, I'm serious. I, just, I wanna see if it's gonna work. I'm not gonna play anything. Because this actually just seems broken. You gotta add more to the top. And, if I have the ability to add more to the top and bring him down, I'll absolutely do that, which is apparently almost what just happened. Well, I could play the Steelworker and bring him down, right? That's, that's something I could do. I think I can do that. Yeah, all right, let me do that. It's so silly, man. It's so silly. Oh my god. It's six fucking units. You can't even see one of them. You literally cannot see this steel worker. He's he's hidden. <laughs> Final boss is, like, if he was on this floor, he'd be dead. Madness. 
We gotta heal this boy here. Yeah, let's take care of that. All right, and the uh, effect from that too, of course. This music is wonderful, by the way. Whole soundtrack has been baller as hell. There they go. Adding on the armor. Another channel song and another descent. Is it even gonna work anymore? I gotta find out. Jesus Christ. Oh, is it full now? Is it full? All right, I guess it's full now. There's too many in there. <laughs> oh my god. Let's just hit him with a torch. GG. G fucking G. Oh my god. More horns! Sun Seraph. What was that other achievement? Hang on. What was that Sans Seraph one we got? Defeat him before the combat phase. Absolutely right we did. Obliterated him. Okay. Oh, great. Yeah, we did it. Victory! The Covenant allows you to opt into a higher challenge level and start mastering cards on Victory. Your Covenant rank goes up every time you win a run at your highest unlocked rank. Hell yeah. Ascension time, yep. Push the attack unit to the back. That's cool. Armor 25 on consumption. Ascend a unit and apply Dazed 2. That doesn't seem very good. Okay. Add a random imp unit to your hand at the start of turn. Cool. Oh, you can do it on enemies. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. Oh, shit, that's good. That is, that's real nice. I like that a lot. Add a sting spell to your hand upon resolve. Cool. Dope! That was awesome. All right. Very, very good. I mean, I couldn't have asked for a much better first run. But let's go ahead and do a new one. Back to the main menu, baby. Cool. That was awesome. All right. Let's do a new clan. Let's do a clan I have not used before at all. The Stygian Guard. Draft the support of the ancient guard of the Stygian Sea. Mystical sirens and ancient totems work together to eradicate the wing from hell. That was, no, that wasn't my very first run. That was my first stream run. That was my fourth overall run. So with a little bit of help from chat, we, we took care of business there and it worked out pretty well. And we'll go with the Awoken as our allied clan again, I guess. That's fine. And I'll go ahead and do Covenant Rank 1. Why not? Why not? Enemies are stronger. Add additional random cards to your starting deck. Let's do it. I guess I could have done a random allied, yeah, but... It would have been, like, between the two, right? It's Seraph again. Random starting cards. Deal 25 damage to the front enemy unit. Discard a card at random. That's pretty good. Two Wildwood Saps and a, an unnamed Tome. Permafrost Consume Apply Silence to the enemy units. Disables triggered abilities. Okay. Cool. Damage spells cast on this floor cost minus one Ember. 
by Frostbite 10 to the attacked unit. That's pretty good. Um, I like this, though, and then we could go like with a damage spell deck. That seems pretty good. Let's try that out. Gain one stack of spikes each time it's applied, or 50% chance to apply days when an enemy unit enters your train. That seems really good. All right, let's do it. Okie dokie. Here we go. Put a train steward up front. Titan's Bane at the back. Deal a quick six. And uh, they don't have any... Oh, I guess if I silent... I wonder if doing that does anything to that guy. Probably not. So, whatever. I need a moment to recover from that last run. That was pretty, pretty high intensity action there. I like it a lot. I miss it already, man. That was a, that was a unique circumstance there to have something that powerful. I was really pleased with it. Oh boy. Um, I guess I'm just popping down some stewards up here. Good enough. Kill this guy. That's not going to be enough, though. I probably should have healed him twice. Actually, that wouldn't have done it either. Oh, well. Oh, well. Missing out on the gold, too, unfortunately. Goodbye. This faction's definitely a little bit more complicated already. Yeah, you can tell. Let's get some uh, combinations working together. There we go. Put a steward up there. Do a lance. Yeah, that's good enough for me, I guess. It's gonna be Pyre taking out that one. Magnus! Thanks for the thousand bits, appreciate that. Glad to hear you're enjoying the game. I am as well. It's a good friggin' time. Might as well. It actually does anything. Well, that's kind of a strength for this one, I guess. I'm gonna take a lot of damage here. This is kind of dangerous. Yeah. Hey Got their damn healer in there too. Hopefully, I get another torch or something. All right. Yeah. No, there's no torches in this deck, of course. Of course not. Well, I'm not going to be able to get to him, unfortunately, so I'm just going to have to deal with this. Uh, go for that. Good enough. Oh, I should have applied the regen 5 to be able to survive one more turn, actually. That would have been the way to go. At least I get a Titan's Gratitude here. Wait, no, he's going to die no matter what here. That was dumb. Oh, well. He's still going to die to the pyre pretty quickly here, at least. Only a little bit of damage. No big deal. All right, what do we get to begin with here? We're looking for, uh, ooh, offering. If discarded before the end of your turn, it will instead be played. Huh. Oh, okay. We're working with a discard build. I can do that. Let's look for discard opportunities. Combos with the lightning strike card. Yeah, definitely. So we've already got some or we've already got something that we can use to work with it. Let's see. I think I'm gonna take the sting again. We do want damage cards, but I don't know if that's necessarily one we want. 
I'm gonna... Yeah, no, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. There's an Animus of Will early on. Another Vine Mother. And then maybe just go Sting all day. I can, of course, modify this creature to hopefully be able to make it a little bit more impactful in the future. This could be good, actually. Nameless Siren could work out okay. Vine Mother just seems like it's good for some reason. But I think I'd rather have something that I can deal damage with now. I do indeed play in TCL tomorrow. Yeah, I'm very excited for it. I'm gonna do more practice, too. Let's go ahead and gain an Awoken unit. An Awoken Hollow. Ooh, and an Animus of Speed. There's our new one. I think I need a tank. So we'll take that first. Hmm. <laughs> Multi-strike siren. Could be a good thing. <laughs> I don't think I need to add 25 health. <laughs> this is pretty good, but just such a basic upgrade. <laughs> I think I'd rather do a multi-strike on him, actually. Since he's continually getting himself more powerful through the course of the battle. Ideally, anyway. If we're able to heal him up sufficiently. At the start of battle, enemy units appear on each floor. I'll deal with that. We'll handle it. That's a lot of units. Put that guy back there. Heal you up. Buh. Oh, wait. Hold on. Should I even bother? I guess I can do that. And then let's go with this. Good enough. Hey, Lurith. How are you doing? not going to be able to get to that. It's a lot more difficult to get to these collectors when you don't have a direct damage spell, so I'm going to have to try to find one of those to help us out. Pop this on you. It's very good for that creature, of course. We need to try to kill a few so they don't kill him, too. I think I'm going to play my Siren down here. Seems like a good idea. And then, let me just restore again. Yeah. Seems pretty good. Oh, yeah, I completely ignored the daze effect. Isn't that right? That's helping us out a lot. Actually, I didn't even realize. Yeah, that, that takes effect on the collector, too. Holy shit! That's really good. Cool, free collector kill. Yay! that, go for that, go for that. Good enough. Alright, this is feeling better. A little concerned about the strength of the build at the moment, but I think we'll be okay. Hmm. Ooh, I might actually be able to get this to trigger. Silence! I can guarantee it plays, actually. Play the train steward here. Play the per er, sinner's burden. Play the restore. Oh, but it would be wasted. Damn it. Too. 
that was probably not very good. The steward's obviously not going to be able to do too much here either. I think I'm just going to deal 60 damage. Actually, that's yeah, why did I not just do that before? I should have just done that out outright. Because then these two die. Which is wonderful. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, damn, dude. Hiya, hiya, hiya! There we go. We did it! Awesome! Deal 25 damage to the front enemy unit twice. Apply spell weakness one to an enemy unit. Titan's gratitude again. I think I take this so I can can get another discard opportunity. Yeah. Uh, another sting, really? I don't think I want it. Spell weakness, I see. I, I can see be, being very good. Yeah. For sure. I don't think I need pyre health or the artifact. I think I'd rather do this. I don't have a ton of gold, but I've got enough. This game is fantastic. Highly recommended. Colcalia. Apply three frostbite to the attacked unit on strike. Attacks all enemy units. That's pretty good. That seems good. The Bone Shaker makes its way through an abandoned train yard. The once bustling workshop is now eerily silent and empty, picked over by scavengers. Though in the rubble, you're able to make out a couple of things that may be useful. A large hook and some quick-release doors. Descend a unit to the bottom floor, apply Dazed 2. Or, ascend an enemy unit to the Pyre Room, apply Dazed 3. Yo, that's pretty cool. The Pyre will just kick the shit out of any unit that's just sitting in there. I like that. The hook is installed in the Bone Shaker's pyre room, giving you an easy way to drag any invaders upwards and subject them to the power of the pyre. Big Mike! Thanks for the 31 months on the pile, buddy. Welcome on back in. Appreciate your continued support. Large Stone! Wanna make him a big boy? A big beefy boy? We could do that and still have space for another two. I'm doing it. Oh, and Colcalia with this upgrade is pretty nice. That seems pretty good. Six per uh, unit. I like it. Good enough for me. All right. I'm going to save the rest of the gold here, I think. Time for Daedalus. Let's do it. Feels like a decent build so far. Ooh, I've got just the answer for y'all. And there it is. Right on call. So I like this setup of Awoken Hollow and Tethys Titan's Bane at the bottom. I think we'll do that. Then we'll play Colcalia at the top. Then we're able to play this regen and the Titan's Gratitude. Bitchin'. Hiya! Hiya! Boom! Hey, he's a big boy now. That is a very large boy. Hmm. Play the Nameless Siren. Let's back up out here. That seems pretty good. Hit him with a sting. Free frozen lance. Pop a regen. He's got 117 max HP, by the way. Good God. Uh, let's go with this. And a train steward. Fuck it. 
going to... Frostbite. I think the uh, the big run that we just had on stream there gave me a lot of progress toward unlocking the Stygian, Clara. Although I might have actually unlocked it before that, too. I don't remember. All right, let's see. I don't think I can actually... Yeah, I don't think I can play that on him, can I? But I might be able to play it on them, and that's probably worth trying to do. So, first of all, I'm going to play the sap on that guy. Uh, let's go with... Hmm. I mean... If I just play everything, I guess that works, too. That was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I could have done that a lot better. I could have played the, uh... I could have played the order correctly there. Scooby Shag! <laughs> it's the six months on the pile. Welcome on back in, buddy. Appreciate you. Silence! I'm still not actually sure that helps me. No, that gets rid of the extinguish, doesn't it? Right? I'm pretty sure. Is that the trigger? Uh, okay, let's see. I'm just gonna pop these guys up here. Yeah. First run took about an hour and a half, yeah. I suppose that's about the expectation. Unless you play with the battle speed turned up. It can take a while to go all the way through. Time flies by, though. It's wonderful. I wonder if I can play that on him. I can! Wait, does he take the pyre damage, though? I'm, I'm gonna do it anyway. Fuck it. Oh, fine. Fuck you. Stupid thing. <laughs> That would be great, though. He is dazed for three turns, though, which means we're getting free hits from the stewards. Unfortunately, it's from the stewards, but it is helpful. That's pretty dope. Hey -ya! Hey -ya! Look how beefy this boy is. Oh, he can still move, though, but he's just dazed. Which means, oh, he is in for a world of hurt here. Oh, he is going to feel the friggin' pain. I'm sorry, my friend. This is not going to go well for you. Boom! Ah! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's done it. Easy peasy. Another channel song? I don't know if channel song's actually all that good for us here. I don't think it is. Damn. Wildwood Tome. Pretty good. Apply that to the Awoken Hollow and Colcalia. Poor Frost Effigy is a very interesting one. I don't think I'm going to do that, though. I think I'll take this. And let's see. Ooh, Thorn Hollow is good, too. Let's take that. Channel Song seems universally strong, though. It is. It's just not as strong in this one, I guess. All right, let's see. I'll probably go with Light of Light of Seraph this time. Especially because I've enlarged my Awoken Hollow. I'll give myself more space to add things behind it, so that works. Okay. Let's upgrade magic. I don't have a ton of money right now. I could use the Vortex, actually. What do I want to duplicate, if anything? 
I guess it would be the multi-strike Awoken Hollow, which is quite good. That's true, I guess. Yeah, even the channel song on the train steward is still pretty strong. Maybe I'll take it next time. Hmm. I think I'm gonna do this. I don't really need this, though. Actually, uh, no, never mind. I'm gonna go this way. Get rid of some stuff. Dispose of... Maybe a frozen lance. I guess I could keep those still. Let's get rid of both of these guys. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, let's see. What do I want to ember stone here? Probably the wildwood tome. Maybe the polyclaw, actually. Be the polyclaw. Hmm. <laughs> Adding 10 damage good for anything? The sting is decent with that. <laughs> Do I want to freeze anything? Probably not. I think I'm going to do this. Although, there's better there's better applications <laughs> of the Emberstone. I just, unfortunately, don't have them. Hmm. Actually, I think I'd rather do that. Yeah. That seems fine. And then let's add 10 damage to this thing. Why not? All right. Good enough. Good enough for me. Hmm. I'm gonna go that way. Yeah. Chill wind looks fun. Reducing the cost by two doesn't seem like it's all that necessary right now. I've only got like one spell that costs that much. Enemy units start with armor 15. That's gonna be tough to deal with. But I want the money. Here we go. Thorn Hollow to begin with. So if I play, oh wait, no, I can do boom, and then boom. Yeah, look at that, cool. Hiya, very nice. Oh, and the dazed too, oh my God, it's so good. Not those two though, but this one. Ah, I got the Days Collector. Good. Good stuff. Oh, we can add Cocalia to the back of this. That's nuts. I think I'm going to do that. That seems fun. Not necessarily the back, I guess, but... Uh, I think we're going to leave those be. I kind of want to heal. I'm going to heal him. Give him the two spikes. And I guess we'll just play a train steward? That way we can kill the collector. That's a good idea. There we go. Oh man, that frostbite's gonna be nice. I'm gonna try to heal this boy. Oh, they're dazed. Good God. Doo, doo, doo. Let's see. Let's go ahead and put you down. Doo, 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 doo. Hmm. I'm just going to play the siren up top. That seems good. And I kind of want to play this on this boy. And then the gratitude won't get rid of it. Good enough. Ha <laughs> ha 
Ah, it's fun. I like that. Money! All right. Any heals? A little bit of heals. Okay. We'll get our quick as well if I want to... Well, I don't know who I'm going to apply that on. I don't think it really matters. I'm not going to save his life. should probably put the quick on you. Yeah, I like that idea. And then if I do that, does it help? Almost. It almost does. It, it, it almost made you survive. Darn it. Can I... Hmm. Do, do, do. I don't have any triggered effects right now. Darn it. I'm going to do that anyway just to get the spikes to deal more damage to these guys and then... Fuck it, just play that. I think if I play... No, oh, you're gonna survive no matter what. All right, good enough. Good enough. I just wanted him to die. Clearly I just played him so he'd die. That's what I wanted out of that. Ow! A brief respite. Sap. Sap. And uh, that's good enough, I guess. There we go. Okay, we're going to lose here right away unless I can play that exact card, so that's cool. Not that it's going to change things a ton, but it does allow us to deal more damage, so that's good. And then... I think if I do Restore, Sting, Gratitude, that's, a, that's, a, that's the way you do it. Holy fuck, I win! Matt, it is so good. This game is fan friggin -tastic. We're applying 26, no, 39, 51 layers of frostbite at 60 layers of frostbite at the end of this. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, I guess. Here you go. Cool. All right. Hmm. The next time a unit is hit by a damage spell, it takes that much damage again for each stack of spell weakness. Holy fuck! I misread that. Wow. Give me that. Also, Awake is quite good for us. I'm going to take that, too. Dan finished his morning stream with a boss having over 150 stacks of Frostbite. Jesus Christ. That's great. I'm gonna go this way. When you draw a card, its cost is random. Oh, it's Sneko. Sneko mode. No, I'm good. Probably frozen to a random card in your hand at the end of the turn. That's pretty good. I could use that. Large stone again. Do we want another beefy boy? <laughs> Get a large cold Kalia. <laughs> uh, let's see. This is a large thorned hollow, I guess. Sure, let's do it. Why not? And then... Let's just do that. Could do that, too, but... Uh, I don't know, man. I kind of want to re-roll these. Multi-strike! Ooh. Yo, that's pretty cool. You <laughs> can't gain one armor. <laughs> multi-strike, though. Yo, multi-strike Colcalia. That is very good. 
<laughs> that is so good. Thanatos. Thanatos Turino, thank you very much for your seven months on the pile. <laughs> Welcome back. Here we go, dude. Oh. Love, specifically, I want you to chill a little bit with the specific instructions, please. Just hang back a bit. I've noticed pretty much every one of yours has been a direct order. So if you could relax a bit, I'd, I'd appreciate it. Non-boss enemy units restore all health when they move up a floor. Ooh. That's hard to deal with, actually. That might be a problem. You gotta kill everything, otherwise it goes back up to full health when it moves up. Hmm. That's, that's a little hard. That's a little hard to deal with. I don't think I want to do that. I mean, a random artifact, that's a tempting offer, man, but... This is a fine start. Gets this out. Get a sap on this boy to give ourselves some additional uh, thorns. Some spikes. And I'll uh, just... Oh, hold on, does that help anything? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Good. Cool. Oh, don't worry, love. I just want to make... Make it make you aware that I um. am mostly trying to handle it on my own here. We tased the collector again. That's wild. And I'm so glad we didn't take that uh, condition because clearly we would have already be running into some problems. We're gonna be able to put together something something pretty goddamn good here. Still though, this is really strong. Oh, baby. I'm gonna freeze the Crypt Builder. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Need more Demon Fiends, yeah. Noticeable lack. Also nice. Very nice, Seda. Ooh, the Awake here is very good. That's tempting. I might just do that. Bucket. All right. Dazed is really working out too, man. Let's see. That's pretty freaking good. Could do it up here too, actually, but it's better here. Apply that. Uh, I don't think I want to even play the steward, so whatever. Oh wait, that was the wrong thing to do. Whoops. I'm an idiot. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Learning. Damn, he's at nearly, he's at full health. Yeah, he's at full freaking health down there. That's nuts. Oops. Fly quick to you. I'll go for the regen up top. And that member right. There we go. Yeah, this would have been a lot more difficult with the heal after Ascension thing. This would have been a completely different battle. You're totally right. He's dazed! Oh my god, we dazed the boss. Or the mini boss, anyway. Alright, let me hit him with the, uh, the free spells, I guess. Do that. to heal, do I? I mean, it'd be pretty good to heal this guy. 
Oh, he's got stealth eight. Jesus. Oh, no. Okay. How's he taking 200 damage then? Hmm. Oh, the spikes. That makes sense. Well, that's gonna be helpful then. Shit, he's gonna take a lot of damage. Yeah, damn. Cool. Alright, well, I'll just do that. Hopefully that helps out. Man, this worked out pretty well for me, it turns out. Piercing through the stealth, baby. A little bit of frostbite stack. Not too much. Oh, you're dead. You're dead, pal. See you later. There's a small chance that these can make this discard. Now it's guaranteed, isn't it? Nice. Cool. This deck is looking pretty good, man. Hmm. Ooh, plus seven magic power on this floor. That's fun. Spike of the Stygian. Hmm. I'm getting some help from uh, Chad for sure, Messignosis, today. I was not playing nearly this well before. This thing's cute, isn't it? Yeah, I almost want to pick it for the adorable factor alone. <laughs> it's, a, it's so sweet looking. Uh, focus growth is okay. Yeah, we'll take that. It's actually really not that good right now, but whatever. Forging the spells isn't a bad idea. What would I duplicate? You could duplicate the Awoken Hollow. That'd be pretty good. Oh, duplicated Cocalia would be good, too. Hmm. I think I might go this way. No, never mind. Gut says go this way. Rail spikes from the rings of hell have been driven into a stone near the rail like some sort of monument. At the base lies a hammer carved with ancient runes. You can't make it all out, but what you, can't, what you can talks of the founding of the covenant. Could this be the birthplace of the rail? But with the covenant now broken, these spikes serve no purpose here. Many of them are lodged too deep into the stone to take, but the spikes of the hellhorned, awoken, and stygian guard are loose enough to pry away. Enhance with minus two ember. Ooh. That's kind of neat. There's a spike of the Stygian. I've seen this one a few times. Uh, let's go with the Awoken one. I kind of like that. Higher health back, and let's check out the Merchant of Magic. Ember Stone on. Let's see. Ember Stone on Awake is pretty good. I'm gonna take that. Holdover is really good too. Play this and make it show up on the top of the pile. Or even a sting? Holdover sting seems good. I'm gonna take that. I like that. And then do I wanna add 10 magic power to anything? Probably not. Uh, I think I'm good. 
Oh. I think I'm good. I don't think magic power applies to regen, no. I think it only applies to the base level of healing. Back to Fell. Prepare for all. Oh, yep. Very loud. Very loudly. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of want to try this, but I also want to invest in the thorns early on here, so I think that's better. I'm going to draw zero there. It would be great if I could find an artifact that adds to the value of our X cards. Because I know that exists. That'd be pretty sick. No, this isn't the final boss. This is only the second boss. Still a little ways away from the final boss. Do, 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 do. I might play Colcalia down at the bottom, too. Let's see. I do like that idea. Let's do it. Hmm. Freelance. Oh, shit. Whoops. Oh, well. Okay. Pay attention to that. Dude, fuck it. Let's play this. Why not? I'm going to hope... Wait, that only triggers one time, right? No, I think it's going to trigger again if I do that. Yeah, okay. So, let's go with... Boom. Oh my god, that was lucky. Sick. All right. Dazed. And we're stacking frostbite on the boss. This is so good. This is very, very good. Oh! Oh, there's our holdover sting. All right, let's see. I'm going to play... Thorned Hollow, Nameless Siren, and a Restore, and then a Silence for fun, Hold Over Sting. So that should show up every turn now, if I'm interpreting that correctly. Frostbite! Did not even occur to me that he was going to get up there. Whoops. Man, they got a lot of HP. Alright. Ah, this is the boy I need here. Okay, let's go like this. Like that. I want to sting. Uh, I'm going to keep this for a sec. And we're going to go like that. Yeah, we'll hold on to the... Ah, oh, I didn't squeeze the right one there, damn it. Nice. A little damage on her, that's good. Cool. Pretty good. Yeah, she's got a lot of HP, man. It's going to be a, a tall order to get through that. I can play the sting on you. Oh, I got my mollusk mage. Yay. I don't know where the hell I'm going to play him, though. Maybe on the second floor. Do, 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 do. I can play my Steel Polyclaw. But I don't want to take away the damage I'm doing there, so... Let's play it on him. Have fun with that, buddy. Now we're getting direct damage here. 
Try to sting on you. We'll get our regen going on my middle boy so he can start scaling. Bam, blam. And fuck it. Play the mage. Oh, you're so cute. You're a cute little guy. All right. Stacking it. this hit him with the big hits hit him with the big hits uh, I guess that's bad. whatever whatever I'm actually gonna play the healing card I think and keep the crypt builder There we go. Doof, 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 doof. Cool. Ooh, baby, look at all them free cards. Look at all them free cards to play. Let's get the regen up there again, I think. Make sure I'm doing everything right. Let's start with the sting. Right? Yeah. And then play the restore on you. Oh, shit. There we go. So you're gonna die. I don't need to worry about that. I need to worry about getting this guy as strong as he can get. As strong as, as, strong as he can be means playing most of this stuff. Uh, I guess I can play these down here. But I don't want to discard these, so I want to play the Awake first. And then, boom, boom. Nice. Very good. Alright, so my middle boy is carrying us to victory on this one. Because we're not going to deal a lot of damage to her in this final wave here on the bottom bottom floor, but hopefully what we've set up on this middle floor is going to be enough to, uh, to make up for that. I don't have any, enough room for the train stewardship. Oh well. Yeah, she's still got a ton of HP, but she does have a lot of frostbite stacks now because she couldn't get through these guys very quickly. So that should help us out enough, actually, just the fact that we've done that. She's going to be taking 70 damage per turn now. That's going to be tough. In fact, she's dead. Yeah, that's it. That's a GG right there, boys and girls. Go ahead and give me that. Go ahead and give me that. Go ahead and give me that. Yeah, we can do the game speed here, too. Yay! All right. You know what? Fuck it. Give me a spike of the stygium. And now what do I do? All right. Mm. I'm willing to take some chat input here. What do y'all think? What's the best way to go right now? And I'm almost certainly going either Remorse or Seraph. I very rarely find I want to go uh, Herzal's compound here. More Ember is almost always good. I don't think I need the capacity anymore right now, so yeah, we'll probably go with Remorse. Hold right click to speed through, got it, thank you. This looks like a good op uh, opportunity right now. Let's do that. Bone Shaker stops near the abandoned remains of a train. 
Looks to have belonged to a merchant. Still has some wares. A few remaining goods from the clans of the Hellhorned Awoken and Stygian Guard are out in the open for the taking. But taking something may cause the abandoned remains to fall to pieces. Random Hellhorned Awoken or Stygian Consumable card. Bone Dog's favor. It's so cute. Restore five pyre health if it's in my hand. Cool. I gotta take that. You carefully retrieve the item from the wreckage, trying your best not to disturb the train any further. But the train collapses under its own weight, making any other items of value impossible to obtain, so you head back on your way. That's logical. Oh, please do it. Chili. I saved the dog from the train. That's true, isn't it? Yeah, I'm a hero. <laughs> I'm absolutely a hero. I'll summon an even larger boy! <laughs> um, name the siren? I guess we could do that, yeah. That's pretty good. And then if we do this... Cool. Yeah, well, that's pretty good. I'll, I'll take that, yeah. Good enough. Oh, whoops. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and remove uh, Steward as well. Steward! Alright, off we go. He's doing it. Enemy units enter with armor 20. Fuck it, dude! big money. That's 400 gold. We don't pass that up. My big boy's here to play. He's so big. He's so big. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn, man. This is a normal big one. Look how big he is. Fuck. Uh, oh, I don't want to discard this though. Hang on. So... This, I guess? Yeah, this is pretty good. Works for me. Came in with 95 freaking HP. Yeah, he's pretty... Pretty beefy. Yes! I was hoping for exactly you to show up. Thank you very much. Alright, um... Awake is pretty good. Look at that here. We gotta get our regen going after all. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and restore you as well. Do, 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 do. Good enough. Gold carrier! She is a monster right now. Literally a monster, but also figuratively. Good old days. Oh my god. It's so good. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, let me hit him with a focused growth. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and throw down the Nameless Siren up here, and then I'm going to pop the Wildwood Sap there as well. You're going to die. I don't know why I did that. That was really dumb. That was really dumb. Oh well. God damn, they got a lot of HP up in this mamma. It's gonna be tough to get through these things. The 20 armor hardly even made a difference. Ouch! Holy shit, that hurt. I do not want to let them get up, but it's hard to say, or it's hard to stop them when you've got so much to work through. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and make... Hmm. This is bad. 
Yeah, we got our doggy. That's good. Let me get some higher health back. Why don't we just do this? There. I got an achievement for it, too. Shit. Okay. I mean, that did the job. Shit. That works. Silence! Yay! Ah, uh, they are tough to kill, man! My goodness. Frostbite! Yeah, Frostbite's doing a bit of a hard carry at the moment. Let's see. I'm just gonna yoink this dude. That's not even a good idea. No, this is a good idea. That's a very good idea. Okay, let's do that. And I wanna put quick on you, and then hopefully keep you alive as well. I doubt I'll actually be able to do it. Yeah, I guess not. Oh, wow. All right, all right. Is that enough? No? Fine. See ya. See ya. There he goes, yep. Thankfully, that's going to be enough frostbite to mostly address those two, but... Wow. Yikes, dude. Everything's dead. What the hell am I going to do now? All my units are dead. I think I'm... I think I'm dead. I think I'm doomed. Hmm. Yeah, especially with this guy hanging around still. This is tough. Damn, man. Um... Yeah, the 20 armor on these guys ended up being the killer. If I could have killed these dudes before they got up to the top, that would have been fine, I think. I haven't even seen the boss for this yet. So we're in trouble. Of course it did that. God damn it. Go, little buddy! Get him! Yeah, I'm fucked. Oh, I did have one more unit, apparently. I don't think it's possible to win still. Awaken! Lack of targeted spells hurts too, for sure, yeah. But I'm dead anyway. Go, little buddy. You got this. I believe in you. Uh, sure. I kind of want to play this for fun see what happens. Maybe I'll draw a unit. Nope. It's kind of good. Gives us a lot more thorns anyway. Alright. Didn't get lucky with that. Why would it do that? Oh wait, no, that's good for us. That's awesome for us, actually. Yeah! If only it helped any for the remainder of this. Uh, okay, I guess we're doing this. And then... Since I don't want it to discard the dog, but whatever. Of course, you son of a bitch. We're dead. 
This is a fun trade, though. Goodbye. Whew. That's about more what I'm accustomed to, to be honest with you. The game is merciless sometimes. Oh, man. All right. Well. 90 damage to the front enemy unit can only be played in the pyre room and the floor below it. Man, that's cool. 50% 50 chance, 50 chance to apply silence when an enemy unit enters your train. Nice. Cool. Well, there we go. Not too shabby, man. I like this game a lot. Hope you all do, too. Uh, I'll be back for more of it probably tomorrow. But I hope you enjoyed today's sponsored broadcast of Monster Train.